you know, I say that if I could go back in time, I would coach myself to do it quicker, but that's also not true because everything had to happen in order for me to get where I needed to go. And I needed all of those steps to get there. So it's really hard to trust the process when we feel lost, but that's the point. The point is like being lost is a really important part of our process and it never totally goes away. It'll always come back. There's always a part of creating ourselves and our life that is going to feel confusing, disorienting, and chaotic. And that's supposed to be. It's just that we have to develop the coping skills to help hold ourselves through that discomfort. And that's the, that's the work. The work is developing the coping skills. And sometimes when you go into the astrology of everything, it can be a real comfort because you're like, oh, no wonder I feel lost. Neptune's on my, you know, (laughs) or like something's happening to me. Okay. How else can I use this transit? What else does Neptune mean? Or what else does Saturn mean? Or what else? And it gives you options to be like, okay, this is a difficult situation. What are the tools that are also connected to this kind of difficult astrological moment? That And it helps me at least to be like, okay, I've got free will. I've got agency. And I think that's what I'm always trying to help people get to is you have agency always, 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 always about how you are relating to yourself internally. And we can always count on that. And if you connect in that place, it can be a remedy for so much because in the world, we might not have a lot of agency but we do have it somewhere inside ourselves and our relationship to ourselves. And I think the chart and astrology, if it's your language, if it's something that appeals to you can help us reconnect to it. It's odd because it's like, well, it's telling you about a period of time or the quality of something and you don't have the power to change it. It's like, that's true. We don't, we don't actually have the power to change people's minds or, you know, it's like, it's not, it's also like, that's not our work to do. But our work is to be like, okay, this is where I am. What can I do from this point? If I accept where this point is, what tools do I have available to me? And then moving from there. <laughs>